The Bean Apocalypse. Global events so widespread that the world turned to ash in a matter of seconds. I've had first-hand experience with the beans, up close and personal. My colleague and I were able to escape that forsaken town last year, unsure if we were the only ones left. The government aided in our escape and, impressed with our bean slaying abilities, tasked the best of us with a mission handcrafted only for the best of the best. By that, I mean me and some weirdo hyped up on two Red Bulls and a shot of steroids. That's just our breakfast. Together, we are the Bean Team. <gasps> ah! We're getting surrounded! Ah! Uh-oh. Oh, and also we're gonna survive as long as possible in the new map in The Walking Bean. That That's the point of the video. Day one started out basically how you would expect. Alpaca and I arrived on our designated helicopter and immediately began to analyze our surroundings. We had no time to do anything though because the first round of beans started pouring in fast. It's just like last time. Oh my god, they're already coming. Run. As soon as I realized, we calmly fell back and took shelter in a nearby restaurant. We then waited out the beans, shooting any that managed to get through. Level one, we literally had to seek refuge in a tiny hiding spot. This is only gonna get worse. Oh my god. As day two began and all the beans were disposed of, Alpaca and I took a look at how much money we had earned so far from killing the beans and what our options were for defense. Oh, we got 19 seconds. This could be our base for right now. This is our base. We knew it was coming this time, so we decided to make the restaurant our temporary base and farm as much money as possible there before things got out of hand. They must be on top of us. Just woke up in a fucking steaming mood, yeah? Cause I live in a shithole! <gasps> ah! Late in day two, we noticed the beans would climb buildings and camp above us. Alpaca, we survived. Oh, not yet! So we bravely moved out to get rid of them. Double. Triple day three started with some conversation regarding a weapon upgrade, but we weren't quite there yet. 25, the MP5. I don't know if you want to get that. I think I'm going to save up for the spear, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I think we just stick with pistols for now. After that, we went to our shelter and fought back another wave. Day 4 was mostly the same as the others, except I was able to snag an upgrade in the MCX spear weapon with 50 gun bucks. Nice. Alpaca had a bit more than me, but she decided she would save up for a better weapon. She had also put up some wooden barriers in the street, so we tried defending that position at first, but realized the beans could easily overtake the barricade, so we quickly moved into the shelter. This is where we finished off day four. Day five would mark a turning point in our struggle against the beans, as Alpaca had saved enough money to buy an incredibly overpowered weapon from the shop. We also moved our base from the cramped restaurant to a larger diner that would be easier to get in and out of without risk of getting hurt. With our new base and new weapons, we easily mowed down this round of beans. Day 6 saw the same domination as last time, and I also made a commitment to saving up for the M249. On day 7, Alpaca was so rich from farming beans that she could afford a grenade launcher. <laughs> On day 8, I was finally able to buy the M249, so I did, and with these overpowered weapons in hand, Alpaca and I easily beat the wave. On day 9, we decided to change things up a bit since there were so many beans. We split up and scaled the largest towers in the city. We thought it would be enough, but I'm not sure now. Get over here! Get over here! We faced a bit of trouble, but were able to come out on top and live to see day 10. It was clear that the bean apocalypse had taken a turn for the worse. Alpaca and I decided that the skyscraper was the best bet, 
and held our position for the night. That is until. Oh fuck! I fell. I Luckily, most of the beans were disposed of, and I didn't face much resistance. But if I had fallen earlier in the night, it definitely would have been over. We briefly celebrated our victory despite some roadblocks, but weren't given any time as the beans were already incoming. The beans made their way up the tower and even managed to get inside, pushing us back into a small bathroom where we held out for the night. Day 12. At this point, the waves were becoming dull because of their length and our overpowered weapons, but we continued to push through for the next couple of days in various locations. Oh, um, you know there's a, an apocalypse going on right now? Boss music literally just kicked in, bro. We we got we gotta go, man. You gotta stop watching TV. You're not even watching anything. On day 14, I had to go do something IRL. I know, gross. So I was AFK for the whole day. However, Alpaca managed to hold off the beans by herself and keep me safe, proving that this challenge wasn't so much of a challenge anymore. And then. On day 15, this happened. But I decided to get back on this game with Alpaca and play the whole entire two hour game again. Fine, stay here all you want. I'm going to call the helicopter. Finally made it out! So, that was the end of the bean team. It doesn't have to be. If this video hits 500 likes, I will do a bean apocalypse stream, and I'll pack it and I will see how long we can act. But anyway, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, definitely hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell. Thank you to my members, Sleepy and Vladimir. If you want to become a member, the link is in the description down below, or you could just hit that fancy join button next to my name. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!